The Guyana Olympic Association, in a simple but significant ceremony, awarded four talented young athletes who represented Guyana at the Commonwealth Youth Games approximately $1 million for their outstanding achievements. The event which took place on August 31st, 2023, at the Guyana Olympic Association Olympic House, Liliandal Georgetown, was attended by athletes, their parents, and coaches, as well as Godfrey Monroe, the new president of the Guyana Olympic Association, who told the athletes that they had inspired a nation. As an executive committee, we felt that it was very critical that we award this significant achievement that was made by you, the athletes. Um, you would have inspired a nation, as we said. You would have inspired a generation of young athletes to aspire. Rewarding athletes is one of the key pillars of athlete development in this place model of, of um, athlete development. And we thought that it was significant that we do that. This is falling on the heels of um, Mr. Emmanuel Archibald's uh, gold medal performance where the executive also felt it was important that we provided an incentive for him. So as soon as he gets back to Guyana, we'll also be presenting Mr. Emmanuel Archibald with an award. But um, to you, the athletes, we want to say congratulations again. Um, your, your feat was not, um, was significant. As indicated, it was truly groundbreaking and as most persons will tell you continue to stay humble, disciplined, continue to work hard, and the sky would be the limit. I think you guys would have set uh, international record being the second fastest quartet mix uh, for youth on the 20 athletes. Uh, we felt that this core here is a quite great core for us to continue to work with, and we look forward to continue to. Um, supporting their development moving forward. It was pretty exciting because we were so hyped for on our races and we got the results and it was truly a good experience, yeah. We made history for Guyana and yeah, it was truly a warm feeling, you know. It felt so great to represent my country, my whole country at the Commonwealth Games. I feel so good about myself to be a role model for the most young uh, athletes in Guyana. Um, I feel that it's going to be a great improvement into their skills also to see us do so great for our country so that they can go and have that dream of doing it also. I feel great representing Guyana to know that a lot of kids die for these chances and I got the chance to go represent my country. I feel great. I feel great that I'm going to model other kids because they could look up to us and take into sports of track and field because we're not track and field a lot more athletes. So, yeah. It was an honor and a privilege to represent my country. I love this country so much. I see a bright future for myself. All I have to do is just stay focused and I will have a bright future. And I will bring home a gold medal at the Olympics for Guyana. I'm standing here, you know, a very proud person. Um, and I've been coaching for over 20 years and running a, a few. And you know, I've toured many places, um, been on many national teams. Um, uh, this this stands out um, because of the confidence um, that these young people had from day one. You know, when we arrived in Trinidad, um, these athletes, you know, they felt that they belonged there, um, and they were not just going to be there to add numbers. Um, and they were very confident, very confident from day one for their individual performance, and even more confident. Um, once it came down to the relay. I'm very happy for this team because we went to Carifto. They all um, made the finals in the various events. Fortunately, Tiana Springer was the one that came back with a gold medal in the 400 meters from the Police Progressive Youth Club. Jovon Roberts, very promising athlete, went with me to Carifto and he got a gold and a bronze medal in the 8 and the 1500 meters. So, um, my, I was not really surprised going to the Commonwealth Games because for me as a coach, I normally prepare one race as a, at a time. When I prepared Tiana for South um, Corifto, we took that race. 
we went through that race and everything. Then she went to South American on the 20 games. Remember, she's only 16 years of age. And she was saying to me, you know, coach man, them girls big, you know. How I, I said, look, you just believe in yourself that you can go out there and represent. I am sending you there. If you don't medal, I'm proud of you. Fortunately, she broke the 400 meters record, which was 18 years old. And, you know, and then we, when she came back, we started preparing for Commonwealth Youth Games. One of the key things we want to do is maximize our opportunity to bring more resources into the ramp um, to help support. So on the Olympic side, we'll be looking at um, making the applications for more grant support, which again help in coaching, development, athletes development, you know, um, on all the realms in terms of providing the physiotherapy and nutritionists and so on, all the support systems around athletes. Um, critically and also supporting our affiliate members uh, because you know strong associations make a strong pool of athletes. So um, quite exciting times, um, truly elated. Um, today was one such day you know to reward those athletes um, because that is a key pillar on which sport has to be developed in terms of incentivizing the athletes so you know help them to maintain a system and regimen of training to you know let them feel that their work and sacrifices is, is you know paying off and that you know there's somebody who cares and supports them. I should say that on the government side we've got a lot of collaboration and support and kudos to uh, the Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sport, Minister Ramsey and Director of Sport, um, Mr. Ninval and his team and um, Chairman of the Sports Commission. So overall I think it was great times for sports and um, quite elated that I have the privilege to, to do that, so I'll take it very seriously.